As a kid, I was curious about barcodes. They were fascinating as it was small, but it held loads of data about our groceries. Today, another type of barcode sparked my curiosity, the light spectrum. For exoplanets, their barcode is this light spectrum. Scientists can figure out the composition of an exoplanet's atmosphere by analyzing the spectrum of light that passes through. This is called transit spectroscopy. So how do scientists figure out an exoplanet's atmosphere thousands if not millions of light years Here away? Here we have a glass of water. Shine a light through it and most of the light passes right through. However, if we add a drop of food coloring into the water, some of the light gets absorbed. If we shine a light through the solution, it appears red as the food coloring absorbs all visible light except red, which it transmits. Using a special instrument to look at the light that passes through the solution, we would see that certain wavelengths of the light are missing. These missing wavelengths are the colors that the dye absorbed. The resulting spectrum would show these missing wavelengths, and these dips are the unique fingerprints that would tell us what kind of food coloring was used. Transit spectroscopy works similarly, but is more complex. Instead of the flashlight, we have a star. A distant star emits light of all different wavelengths like a regular flashlight or the sun. When an exoplanet passes in front of its host star, a phenomenon called a transit occurs. The food coloring is the exoplanet's atmosphere. When an exoplanet transits, a tiny amount of starlight passes through its atmosphere. The gases in that atmosphere act like the food coloring, absorbing specific wavelengths of light. The special instrument is a telescope equipped with spectrographs. Astronomers use powerful telescopes such as Hubble and James Webb, which carry instruments such as a near-infrared spectrometer. These instruments collect starlight and break it down to create the spectrum, revealing unique chemical fingerprints that allow scientists to study the atmosphere's composition. These so-called barcodes of exoplanets are the key to finding planets like ours. It may not carry data, but it carries the answer to the question many of us ask. Are we truly alone in this universe or is there someone, somebody, or something that's already waving back at us?